Introduction Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough, and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend, Buddha. In today's consumer-driven and super-competitive world, our more prevalent emotions tend to be anger, frustration, envy, and often, despair. Even people with wealth and successful careers feel this way. Why do we feel that something is missing in our lives? The likely answer is that we lack gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most overlooked factors in our pursuit of self-improvement and personal well-being. Although not an external skill that can be learned, gratitude is an innate quality, a potential mindset that exists in each and every one of us. It can be awakened and developed to dramatically change your outlook, and transform your life in ways you never imagined. Practicing gratitude creates a huge paradigm shift. Suddenly, so many of the things that keep you tossing and turning at night become trivial and meaningless while the things you should be putting your effort into, the things that have true value and meaning, become crystal clear. No physical skill can ever transform your life in this way. So, how do we practice something as elusive and intangible as gratitude? Actually, it's one of the easiest things to do. This seven-day challenge will show you how to practice a different form of gratitude every day for one week. It will help rewire your brain and sow the seeds for a lasting mindset that becomes second nature. Try it yourself and at the end of the seven days you will never view your life and the world around you, in the same way again. What science tells us about gratitude? Gratitude is one of the most researched concepts in psychology and behavioral science. Not only has it been proven to improve happiness and strengthen social and personal relationships, but it has also been proven to boost success and productivity, as well as promote overall physical and mental health. Here are some surprising facts that science can tell us. 1. Most people don't express gratitude at their workplace. 2. Women are more grateful than men. 3. Grateful people exercise more and are more health conscious. 4. Gratitude improves sleep. 5. Gratitude lowers cholesterol levels. 6. Grateful people are more likely to achieve their goals. 7. Gratitude strengthens personal relationships. 8. Gratitude alleviates depression. 9. Gratitude helps people make wiser buying decisions and not overspend. 10. Gratitude strengthens inner peace. The bottom line, Gratitude is likely one of the few things in life that has no downsides. Scientifically, there can be no doubt that gratitude is good for us on many levels. Getting started. The 7 day gratitude challenge requires no special preparations or costs. All you need to get started are two key things. Keep a gratitude journal. The challenge needs to go hand in hand with a gratitude journal, where you record your experiences at the end of each day. Ideally, you should keep a physical journal where you record entries in handwriting, as this will better imprint the experiences in your mind. Each night before you go to bed, take a few minutes to jot down how that day's challenge went, any particular things you noticed and how you feel. You must do this each day for the first 7 days and the next 7 days, if you decided to repeat the challenge for another week. As you get the hang of it, it's sufficient to make entries into your journal twice or three times a week after that. There's an added bonus as well. Research has linked gratitude journaling with lower stress levels, improved mental clarity and better sleep. This should be enough motivation, to keep your journal entries top of mind at the end of each day. You will find link of our journal gratitude journal in description do check it out. Consistency is key. When you make the intention to take the 7 day challenge, you must make the commitment to follow through consistently. The first week is especially important, because you are preparing your brain to rewire itself for gratitude. If you skip days, or go through the challenges half-heartedly, your brain will register that gratitude is not important enough for you to make it a habit. Perhaps the one downside to practicing gratitude, is that it won't be easy for people who are generally pessimistic and negative in their thinking. The bottom line, in order to change, 
the brain needs to experience gratitude regularly. That's why it's important to follow the challenge, through the full 7 days and keep gratitude top of mind. Gratitude builds on itself. The more we experience gratitude, the more the brain changes to make it a mindset. Keeping a gratitude journal, and staying consistent will allow you to achieve this by creating, a continuous cycle of gratitude in your life.